Success is not singular in any situation. Success is often a collaboration of many people, whether it's your babysitter, whether it's your grandmother, or whether it's those that provide support and encouragement, and that's especially uh, apparent in small communities. It was apparent when we first talked about honoring the students and having some type of recognition that there was a cohesive group of parents that knew each other, that knew the challenges. They knew, first of all, the strengths of their children, but second of all, they knew the challenges they faced um, and were ready to rise up to address those challenges together. In talking with the students, teachers have been critical in the success. What they talk about is those teachers, they never talked about teachers in a negative way. And so they've had uh, an example of, their lives have been examples of great positive interaction with teachers. One of the things that was uh, pivotal, they mentioned to me, was the access they had to study circles, that teachers would actually meet them at McDonald's and that they would have study circles that would last for hours at a time. There is a complete involvement by most of them and maybe all of them in community activities and community service. So the families have allowed uh, an environment to exist to have the young people be responsive to educational needs but also be responsible to community needs and uh, reacting to those responsibilities. I actually had two people that inspired me. My mom, because she's a single parent, and I want to make her proud and work and become successful to where she doesn't ever have to work again. And I also had a teacher from the ninth grade. Her name is Miss Prouse, and she has continually inspired me and motivated me and told me that I am going to be successful. And she pushed me and even helped me a lot in doing what I did. Well, I have to say my mom, because she has fibromyalgia. So like, I just watched her go through so much pain and like, her body. And it really just inspires me to be successful, so maybe like one day I can help fund research to help her. The thing that kept me focused all the way through high school was realizing that college is coming closer and closer and the tuition is getting higher and higher. So I knew I had to work really, really hard so I could get a lot of scholarships, my ACT scores would be higher, and possibly I could go to college without paying a dime out of my pocket. Keeping my focus, it wasn't really hard. It's just like I wanted it so bad and it took nothing. Like I just kept pushing myself and realizing that college was coming and that I needed the grades, high ACT score to accomplish my goal. Well, my perseverance and dedication, it's, it's helped me because I just always try to be the best. Like if I'm gonna do something, I always just try to be the best that I can. Like even if I'm not good, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give my best effort. My advice for incoming high school freshmen is to prioritize and have time management. Because there are a lot of things that you could do, but to get to a spot of greatness you have to settle for doing the things that you need to do. It's not about what you want to do, it's what you need to do. And if you wanna go further in life you have to realize that. It's not always about what you want, it's what you need. I believe we are all role models because by us accomplishing this, the next class below us may actually want to beat our class, you can say, and it'll just keep going from there, and every class will eventually have a greater amount of African-American students completing as undergrads.